Okay, guys, you eventually arrive at the end of the passage at a three-way junction. You may turn either to the west, 257, or to the east, 113. And literally, as the new book arrived, this just fell apart even more. So <laughs> I'll use the old book because I don't want to damage... <laughs> It's like an antique, isn't it? It's like the Gutenberg Bible. I don't want to destroy a historic piece of fighting fantasy book. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about solo D&D. And the best one, of course, is... is so there's a kind of a goal to buy over the next five years the the full Morkborg um set i live on the opposite side of the planet so it's going to take ages to get it piece by piece i know it's all downloadable pdf blah 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 but i want i want books i i own a couple of books you know kind of <laughs> a little book collection say about 500 um so yeah so stupid thing um i'm gonna learn how to paint this is i'm starting from scratch here so i'm learning i'm gonna learn how to paint the miniatures for the dnd games but i'll use them with this and i want to make my own map for this i watched a thing last night where the guy built a village out of cardboard popsicle sticks which i've got in a bag somewhere very cheap so i'll be doing that um that's for the this and for all my projects is going to include the, the lego trains puppets and and maps and dice rolls and i don't know it's just it's complete craziness so you may turn either to the west or the east well i'll have to go for the high numbers so let's go 257. What do you say? Oh, I choose east, but I'm the minority then. Okay, west it is. The passageway runs straight for several meters and then ends at a wooden bar. You listen at the door and hear angry shouting coming from within. Will you investigate 168 or turn back 293? Well, of course we'll investigate. We've got to bash down every door and kill everybody that's alive in there. You're a bit uh, extreme, aren't you? Well, yeah, I am today. Too much sugar. Never turn back. Oh, these guys. Jeez, I remember them. <sighs> the Department of Youth. With a whip in his hand, the orc chieftain has been beating his servant who is whimpering beneath him. Kick his ass, then. You open the door to a large room. A large chair behind a solid-looking table suggests that you, to you, that someone or something of rank uses this room. A chest in the center catches your eye. In the corner of the room stands a man-sized creature with a warty face standing over a smaller creature of similar race with a whip in his hand. The orc chieftain has been beating a servant who is whimpering beneath him. Will you attack them both? No way. That servant guy's getting a beating already. Well, you're going to go for the chieftain. Yep. As you spring at the chieftain, his servant rises to his feet, picks up a hefty wooden stick, and joins the melee. But to your disappointment, he attacks you. Ah, <laughs> ha, ha, double crossing. Prick. I knew that was going to happen. Seeing this, you may escape. Shoot the door down the corridor. You want to escape? I'll continue to fight. Oh, no, no, we'll get rid of the chieftain. Well, hopefully that other guy will back down. Okay, the battle commences. 10 plus 7, 17. 9 plus 8. 17, so we're even. What happens if you're even? You have avoided each other's blows. Okay. Seven plus seven, 14. 
and that's 11 plus 8 is well over 14 so we, we got him he's down to 4 9 plus 7 9 is 16 and I'm 9 plus 8 17 so it's down to 2 ha, 2 plus 7 that's 9 and I'm 16 so he's dead Okay, the little guy is 5. 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. He's down to 1. 15. 12 plus 8 is well over 13, so he's got. Turn to 21. The green blood of the dead orcs smells foul as it seeps from their bodies. You step around the corpse and investigate the chest. It is a sturdy affair made of strong oak and iron and it is firmly locked. You may try to smash the lock with your sword or leave it alone. Smash, smash, smash the guitar. Who is the music? Who is the star? <laughs> All right, three, three, nine. One bad pig time. Okay. The lock is obviously inadequate. It flies off and lands on the floor several meters away. You lift up a heavy lid, the heavy lid, and your eyes widen as you see the gold sheen coming from within. A fair number of gold pieces are inside. In one corner lies a small black bottle with a tight glass stopper containing a liquid of some kind. Also in the chest is a silky black glove. As you're admiring the treasure, you hear a soft click and a wince in pain as a small dart shoots forward into your stomach. Ah! Roll one die, and if you subtract the number of points from your stamina... 19. Oh! Please be a 1. <laughs> I didn't cheat, that's an actual 1. So I'm down to 18. It sucks. Sure does, 201. You sink to the floor. Pull the dart out and decide to bandage the wound. This gives some relief, but you still feel weak. You decide to take it easy and examine the contents of a chest. But if you wish, you may eat some provisions here. So plus four, 19, 20, 20, 22. 25, 25 gold pieces. And the label of a bottle shows it to be the potion of invisibility. Score! Yep. Good for one dose. The glove is a mystery. Take it all? Take it all! Yeah! Okay. I wonder if it's the glove they're talking about at the front of the book. It says here, some said his power came from an enchanted deck of cards. Yeah. And others from the silky black gloves that he wore. So that'll be interesting. Cool. 293. You arrive back at the junction in the passage and walk straight on eastwards, turn to 113. 